Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your year-to-date performance. Now we are using the movie data. As you can see here, this is the data right here and we have that in the company database. If you come here, you're going to see where the database is and this is the data, this is the table right here. And these are all the columns that we have within the table. We're going to be focusing on the release date and the revenue column. Okay, so we want to be able to calculate the year to date revenue from this company. Now, there are different journeys. As you can see, we have animation, we have romance, we have comedy, action, adventure, drama, and so on and so forth. But we are going to be concentrating on the total revenue probably by journeys. Let's say your manager or your boss comes to you to say, what is the total year-to-date revenue from a particular journey? And you want to be able to see the total from January till the month that you are. This is December, for instance, and then we want to be able to see what is the total from January till December and what is the monthly performance for each of these journeys or a specific journey. Now, this is everything within this place. First of all, if you want to calculate that, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by selecting everything, select all, I put a comma, and I'm going to have to aggregate the revenue. This is the revenue right here. I put the revenue, close the parentheses, and I over and order by the date so I'm going to order the revenue by the date so I go to release date I put that and I close the parentheses and I'm going to alias that column if I do not alias the column it's going to give us no name so I'm going to alias that year to date revenue okay and then I'm going to pick from the table which is the movie data and if I run this Okay, so this is the new column that we just worked on, this one, but this is just too much. So I'm going to limit this to just the revenue, the date, and the journey. So I'm going to rewrite this and say select. We can actually copy and edit. So I'm going to copy this and edit and say select instead of picking everything and select the date that's the first thing i'm going to put here the release date put a comma and then i put the genres and then i put the revenue right here let me put a comma here and then let me bring this down so we can see very well so instead of having to use select everything that's the asterisk i highlighted the columns that i want so i can get rid of this whole thing so if I run this okay I'm gonna have this all right so this reduce the size of the table if you scroll all the way down you see that there's number here now so what do I need to do to take away all these nulls and all the zeros so I'm gonna further filter right so I say where release date is not null, okay, and where January is not null, right here, so that we can get rid of this null, is not null, and revenue is not zero, not equal to zero, so that we can get rid of these zeros. Uh, revenue, is not equal to zero if we run that let's see okay so we've been able to get rid of the zeros but how do we filter the journeys and um, let's say we want to find uh, comedy journeys and we want to just see for 1995 let's just say that so and I say, and January equal to comedy. Let's pick comedy. 
Jerry equals to comedy and I want to further filter and release day release date like I'm using white card if you remember that like 1995 okay all right let's see what we have okay so we've been able to filter down and we can see the performance okay you can see the performance by month so this makes sense all right so the final thing is to group it so that we can reduce this row right we can further reduce by the select columns so let's group it group by i'm going to copy this three and bring it down group it by this so that we can reduce this rows here if we run it so we've been able to reduce the rows so we can see if you come to the date you will see january in january we have these two performance because they are different dates within the same month that the activity happened so that's why we have you can see january 6 and january 27th and this is the total for january and in february we have february 3rd 10th 10th at different time and february 17th and that was the last time it happened in that month and this is the total year to date from january to the end of february we have this total performance and you can just pull this number from january to february this is the total and then if we also look at march this is the total from january to march and this is the total from january to april and you can keep filtering till you get to December and you can actually export this like so to Excel. Remember how we do this? Copy with header, take it to Excel, and you further analyze this and just put it in graph, make it beautiful. And that's how to do it. So remember how we arrived here. Um, first of all, we just put everything and we aggregate the revenue and we over and other it by the release date and then we named it and we pulled from the table and then we executed and this gave us a whole lot this is a new column that we added and then we decided to drill down and then we started like this and you can see all the zeros and we wanted to further filter remove all the zeros and then we filtered with the and we took out the zero and we also wanted to drill down to see only comedy and we added the filter comedy and that's drill down you can change this to any journal you like you can also change this to any year that you like you run this so we were able to narrow this down and we also wanted to reduce this so we group it by the select columns so and we have this so this is how to quickly analyze your data and pull the year to date performance from your database I hope you find this video helpful and thank you for watching.